now that there's a new government coming in and you the, was the advocate for the new generation, what are some of the changes you want to see that are going to be coming in and being made? Oh, thank you so much, uh, Keisha, and thanks for all your support. Uh, now that we have an incoming leadership under the administration of Jose Liman Buakait, um, I just want to send a few messages. You know, there is one dream because I uh, envision a new Liberia, and uh, I strongly believe my country of origin, Liberia, in West Africa, uh, where I went there for every year, for like five years, every year I went there to speak to my <clears throat> young generation. Um, I conducted a lot of assessment across the country. Um, and these are the voices of the young generation, my people. They want to be free to advocate. We want to have a new political platform in Liberia where we can be very constructive to criticize in our leadership, right? Uh, where we can, we can advocate for our people. And at the end of the day, we are all Liberians, you know, we are all united and we all come together, you know, for a common goal that is to live life, you know, be happy and also serve our family. But one important information that I do have that touched my heart through my assessment in Liberia, uh, as follow. Our girls and boys, especially the young one, between the age of seven, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, you know, seeing them on the street, between those cars, selling is very risky. Sometimes cars come from anywhere and we hit them. You know, uh, do you know how it feel for a mother or father to see their child being hit by a car only because uh, they're trying to survive? And that's the only means of survival. Uh, so, Honorable Joseph Niman Buakait and your team, I, I strongly believe in you as the volunteer leader for my generation. Uh, we are very bold. We speak out. We want to see changes. Uh, so, on behalf of the young generation of Liberia in West Africa, uh, we want you to empower our parents. We want you to strengthen our parents uh, in any way possible. We are appealing to you uh, that uh, we empower our parents not to send uh, their young children to go out and sell on the street. I was in red light, okay? I was victim, you know? I had to go on the street to sell donuts, cooey, and do anything just to survive. You know, I know how it feels coming out in Liberia as a child. Uh, so this is one of my concerns. Um, I just want to send this message to you, Honorable Joseph Niman Buakai. If you hear me or somebody share with you, um, to just empower our parents where we can have our young children removed from the street and just focus on education. That's one of my requests. My other quest, uh, if possible, I know it's not going to be easy. I know you are thinking over a tough administration, uh, but I will just appeal to you in the future or whenever you have a hand to allow our uh, education from kindergarten you know, all the way up to 12th grade to be absolutely free for the nation. If you can establish that or if you can accomplish that, we will highly appreciate it. These are the new Liberia. You know, uh, my generation want to see. Uh, we want to come to Liberia, uh, encourage other investors, also working on safety. Safety is the main concern, Mr. President. Uh, we want you to look at safety because we strongly believe as a young generation leader and on behalf of my people, when we see safety in the country, uh, other investors will be encouraged to come in Liberia and we'll have the society, the economy booming, right? Uh, booming in a way that, you know, everyone will be happy. Uh, everyone will be free to do what they want to do, you know, and then also respecting the citizens, you know, uh, allow the citizens to voice out. And that's the kind of democracy we want to see in Liberia. We want to make sure our people are very happy. We want to make sure our people are free to walk in the street. We want to make sure that our people's voice be heard at all times. Because the essence of our people putting into power is for you to work for them to the best. Work for them. Let's see, you know, your output. You know what I mean? And uh, yes, so we await to see your incoming leadership, you know, uh, in the power. And then from there, we will start to see. And also, I want to send a message out to those Africans around, uh, abroad, around the world. Uh, let us advocate, but let us not try to 
to to to bring our government down you know uh let's be very constructive in our criticism right uh let, let's try to come together as people uh that's not being an opposition or whatever you know let's be inclusive let's bring everyone on the round table to work for liberia again once more uh my people uh, i serve here uh continue sending your message to me uh feel free we are all working to make liberia to be a better place thank you so much